So the unfortunate events of 1963 late creates a brand new coin in honor and tribute to our fallen president, the Kennedy Half Dollar. And early in the year in 1964, the U.S. Mint strikes some proofs and then brings them to Jackie and says, hey, this is what we got going. And she just says, no, that hairline is not the way I want my husband remembered. And that goes down in history as the small comment on the accented hair. Unfortunately, they did not tell her. They put a few of these in the circulation in proof sets thinking she would say yes. So they modified it. And for the rest of the year, they were normal. For the rest of the onks, the P's and D's, they were all normal. But we have a limited quantity of the crazy hair or accented coin. And tonight, only a few sets are available. Now, we have tonight the accented hair, which is the first coin made, and then the corrected version as a pair at $299.95. Let's talk about these. Now, first of all, they were only in the proof sets. So let's start with the proof sets. They made 3.9 million proof sets in 1964, a banner year because of the fact that it included the Kennedy half dollar, the proof, the finest quality, and it was the lowest mintage figure. Then we get into looking at, well, how many coins have been certified in the last 35 years by NGC, and a remarkable number. Out of 3.9 million, 41,295 as of this week are in 67 or higher condition. So basically a percent have survived this nice. Well, then you get to the first die, the accent. And we're going to show you a graphic in a little bit here that will help out the process, let you show where it's craziness above the ear. There's only 8,404 of those that are known to exist in 67 condition crazy hair. So you notice there's a little bit more of an accent in the hairline. That was the objection. Now, you, remarkably, you might remember this. In 2014, when the U.S. Mint created the 50th anniversary program, they used the accent hair. So you saw the corrected version. Now you're seeing the accented hair. Notice the difference, visual difference. And to her, it was enough. And for everybody, it was enough to change it and stop. Well, today, 35 years later, NGC certifying coins, there's only 8,404 of them in 67 or higher condition, making it one of the key Kennedys, period. One of the rarest Kennedys, period. Now, my competition, we did see somebody about six months ago with an accented hair, and they were at $299.95. So we're going to sweeten the deal for you tonight. We're going to put ours out there at $299.95. We're going to give you the corrected version as well, which they sell for $79.95. We're going to give you the pair for $299.95. So the original, which is the accented, and then the corrected, which is what we've seen ever since, except for that 50th anniversary set where they went back to the accented hair design. Crazy story, unique story, but again, unique time. I mean, if it wasn't for the unfortunate events, the odds are we'd still be seeing the Franklin half dollar today. Don't you agree? I mean, was there a founding father that had more of an influence on the direction of this country from science through politics? But again, the largest coin in circulation at that time was the half dollar. We're going to pay tribute to him with our largest coin, the half dollar. And we create this design. We make a few coins, we bring it to her and say, what do you think? It's a proof. And she says, nah, ain't going to happen. Don't like it. Please correct it. And you put them next to each other, side by side. They are subtle, but there is a noticeable difference. So the grading service is calling the accented hair. As reference, there are over almost 50,000 coins that have been certified in 67 or higher out of the 3.9 million. Everybody wants that 64 Kennedy, right? But the accented hair is only 8404 as of today. And again, my competition sells that coin right there for $299.95. We're going to sweeten it and make the pair available tonight for $299.95. And 
They sold out, and we will too, but we're going to throw that little extra in there for you. We call it the ABC way. So there's your graphic, everybody. The normal hair, and then the accented hair itself, right? A subtle difference, but it was enough to where the boss said, change it, and the U.S. Mint did. We had one die out there making this coin. They were in proof sets. 3.9 million proof sets were actually sold. Yes, and the rest is history. Guys, we gotta put a one minute clock up. We're down to less than five. If you're hearing that fast busy, it's just because this one's special. abccoins.com is the way to go whenever you hear that. If you're handy with your smartphone, your laptop, your home computer as an order process, if you're not, my operators will be there. It's like a 10 second hold right now. Not a big one, it's a small one. But it's important, because if you hear it, it just means a lot of activity. But if you do have it in your website, i.e. Uh, in your shopping cart and you're hanging around for a little bit, thank you by the way, um, check this one out and then call us back later and reorder if we can entice you with something else. But tonight it's all about the first ever Kennedy. It's known as the accented hair. It's the design that was rejected by the first lady. It was corrected and from that point forward it's been corrected. Except for one special coin set in 2014 for the 50th anniversary and for some reason they chose that accented hair design for all four of those coins. Unique story. Our price is $299.95 for the set. Competition is $299 for the coin. $79.95 for the coin. What a great deal. Thank you for listening. This is one of my favorites. Again, first year of issue. The first, the only, 90% silver Kennedy. Philadelphia strike. First die, accented hair. Can't beat the story. So then you got to join the group, right? Us, $299.95 while they last. 